gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to extend my thanks to Dr. Rabi Okushimo, the chairman of the Coalition for Dawa Advancement, for inviting me to be part of this Abekuta Mega Ramadan Lecture. As we heard in his remarks, the idea behind this coalition is to build unity within the Ummah. May Almighty Allah grant all of you behind this coalition the reward for your intentions. And if perchance there are any shortcomings in its execution, may he overlook them because of your good intentions. I thank our guest lecturer, Dr. Afiz Oladimechi Musa, for his very interesting and thought-provoking lecture. May Almighty Allah continue to increase you in knowledge. In this gathering, we have a large number of Islamic scholars and representatives of Islamic societies who, despite different styles and strategies, are toiling daily in the fields of Dawa, sharing knowledge and teachings of the Quran and the Sunnah. May Almighty Allah accept your efforts and grant you good in this world and in the hereafter. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I stand before you to discuss this very important issue of unity from my own perspective as a proud Muslim and a politician. I ask, how can Muslims in Ogun State leverage their unity and strength to become a formidable political force? Ogun State is home to a diverse Muslim community, encompassing various ethnicities, cultures, and beliefs. Yet, despite this diversity, our collective voice often remains fragmented, limiting our ability to effect meaningful change in the political landscape. However, I firmly believe that by coming together as one cohesive unit, we can harness our collective strength to champion the interests of Muslims in Ogun State and beyond. The path to achieving this unity will not be without its challenges, for the rewards are boundless. First and foremost, we must acknowledge and embrace our diversity. Within our Muslim community, there are different sects, schools of thought, and social backgrounds. Rather than allowing these differences to divide us, we must celebrate them as sources of strength. By fostering an inclusive environment that respects and values each individual's unique perspective, we can lay the foundation for a truly unified movement. Furthermore, effective communication is essential in building solidarity among Muslim groups. We must establish open channels of dialogue and collaboration, allowing for the exchange of ideas, concerns, and aspirations. Through regular meetings, forums, and community gatherings, we can cultivate a sense of shared purpose and solidarity among all members of the Muslim community. Education and empowerment are also key components of our journey towards unity and strength. By equipping members of our community with the knowledge and skills necessary to engage in the political process, we can amplify our collective voice and influence. This includes educating ourselves on relevant political issues, understanding the workings of the democratic system, and actively participating in electoral processes. Moreover, we must actively seek out opportunities for collaboration and partnership with other like-minded individuals and organizations. By forming alliances with non-Muslim groups who share our values and goals, we can amplify our impact and reach a broader audience. Together, we can advocate for policies and initiatives that promote justice, equality, and social progress for all members of society. In addition to building unity within our Muslim community, we must also work towards building bridges with other religious and ethnic groups in open state. By fostering interfaith and inter-ethnic dialogue, we can promote understanding, 
tolerance, and cooperation across diverse communities. In doing so, we can create a more inclusive and harmonious society where all individuals are valued and respected. All individuals include Muslims. Women constitute half of our community, if not more. Our participation is crucial. For instance, women account for well over 50% of today's audience. While women cannot lead congregational prayer, there are very few other roles that women cannot hold in Islam and in the society at large. And disenfranchising them from critical roles alienates us. Permit women to hold leadership roles in societies and in our various institutions. This gives them leadership training and skills which can only enhance their contribution to the Dean and equip them to foster the next generation. I recently attended the AGM of a society, a Muslim society, and after the Shura met, all the offices, secretary, assistant secretary, welfare, assistant welfare, treasurer, they're all given to men. And I asked, why no women? And I was dismissively told that there is a women branch. That's where they are. You imagine I'm an engineer. I'm in a society. And they have a building committee. And I cannot be the head of that committee because I'm a woman. Or I assume there is a son in the society. And they have a legal officer. Then some man that just called to bar last year is the legal officer. And she cannot talk or an FCA cannot be the treasurer, the FinSec of that association. What do you think will happen? They will leave. They will feel alienated and they will feel undermined. These Muslims will be discouraged from participating and we will all lose. I urge our ulama and our Muslim brothers to encourage Muslim women to aspire to leadership and to engage in politics, whether as candidates, campaigners, or informed voters. Our perspectives as women enrich the discourse. In conclusion, the strength and influence of Muslims as a political force in open state depends on our ability to come together as one unified community. By embracing our diversity, fostering open communication, educating and empowering our members, and building alliances with like-minded individuals and organizations, we can realize our collective potential and bring about positive change for the benefit of all. Open State deserves leaders who understand our needs and respect our faith. Thank you once again to the Coalition for Dawa Advancement for inviting me. CODA can, however, not do it alone. I must work together with the League of Imams and Alphas and societies across sex, genders, and generations to amplify our political impact. Together, let us stand united in our commitment to building a brighter future for Muslims in Ubu State and beyond.